Today we will make turtled paprika, mm, yummy. which one is tomato sauce and uh, meatballs uh, stuffed with uh, um, yellow pepper stuffed with uh, meat, grind spicy meat. Uh -huh. But today we don't have uh, the yellow pepper. Oh. So what we do, we just use uh, tomato sauce and the meatballs. Oh, oh and okay. You can just do as it is, you know. Oh, put that red pepper in maybe a little bit the if you can. pepper may, makes a little extra taste. Okay. The pepper test. So what we did is uh, I browned like this here, a little bit darker. You made a round tash and a what's in that again? And there is two tablespoon oil and three tablespoon uh, flour. Okay. And the flour is not too heaping full but a nice above the edge and mm -hmm. the oil. Now what we use is uh, we are using about one and a half pound uh, ground beef. Mm -hmm. Exactly, it was 754 grams, so it's about one and a half pound. So for that much meat, we will use two tomato soup. And uh, do you have mm -hmm. to cool up the ratash again? It's already cooled oh, up, okay. right? It's been cooled. So mm -hmm. what you do, you put in the soup, both you can put in. And now we will stir the ratash with the thick soup. Mm -hmm. So it will be not lumpy. And that was again chilled up rantash. Yes. Not too hot. Because if you put it into too hot, then it will be lumpy right away. It will stick to little bars or something. See, you can see in the red tomato the little beige stri mm. stripes. About the yes, I see the swirls. So, so, yeah. Okay, now we mix it up well, kind of. Okay. Then for each can, we will use a half can water. Oh, okay, have the water. Mm -hmm. See, so this is about half can water. Mm -hmm. What I do is just clean the leftover little tomato soup <laughs> and put it in. See? Mm, smart, smart. And we can do the do same, the same one, yeah, because then you get the goodness out of it, yeah. It. So we can put a half about, see? Mm -hmm. And if we need a little more, we can put a little more. If you make rantash is too thick, then it will be thicker and you need maybe a little bit more water, but don't make too much rantash because then it's rantash is a mm. taste, taste. Mm -hmm. Different. Okay, so okay. then we just mix it again. Yes. And do we start boiling this ahead of time yeah. or no? Or oh, we do? Mm -hmm. We will put it on 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 four for now. Mm -hmm. Start a little boil. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll pause for now and we'll come back in a moment. So then. this is about like that. It looks oh. like a little bit thick to me. So maybe a little more water, you think? So I guess I will put an other half cup of water. Oh. A little more water. Okay, so. Then we use the three quarter of water per can, okay? Mm. Or one can, not half, but one and is a three quarter. Three quarter each can, each yeah. Each can, okay. then okay. that's how it comes out. And now this is good, see? That's nice and liquidy yes, enough? This is okay. good. This, when, when it cooks, it will thicken a little bit. Mm. Anyways, but you don't need any thicker than this about, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Because now how boiling goes, boil it will boil, then the rantash it thickens. Oh, it will, eh? Yeah. Okay, okay we'll pause so for now then. We will wait until that boils mm -hmm. and until we can mix up the meat. Okay. Okay, so what we did, we put it on seven, mm -hmm. the heat, because if we put it on four, it will take a long time to oh. start to boil. So what we do is put it on seven and stay here and just stir it because the tomato is easily burned mm -hmm. down, you know. 
So, and oh, yeah, when it starts to boil, then we will put back on two, two and a half, three. Okay. Nice and slow, and then we will cover it and let it just very slowly simmer, simmer until very fast we will mix up the meat and put it right. in. Okay, then we'll come back for that. What we do is uh, we will put a teaspoonful of sugar mm. because it's nice and sweet, our tomato soup, but we like a little bit sweeter. So it's just a teaspoon. A Not teaspoon. Okay. Teaspoon. One teaspoon. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, one okay. teaspoon. Okay. And then again, just make a magic. And you said you wait until it's boiling because you don't want it to be yeah. in there for too long. Yeah, when it starts to boil a little bit. Otherwise, it gets all caramelized or something? Uh, it's, it's burned easily. Or burns, then, like yeah. a tomato burns anyways fast. Mm -hmm. If you don't cover it then too high in one, but uh, the sugar like extra. Extra. Plastic. Uh, okay. Okay, so it feels like it's almost like start to boil. Mm -hmm. So what we will do is, see, and it's thickening a little bit, oh, you wow. can feel it. Mm. See? Yes, uh-huh. Okay, it looks like it's, it's almost boiling, so we will put it on three. Mm -hmm. and, and we'll go mix up the, the meatballs. And I will cover it, I will put it on two and cover. Mm -hmm. And it will slowly, slowly simmer. Okay, that's what we'll do then. So you don't really have to wait until it's bubbling. Bubbling and boiling away. Mm -hmm. You feel it when you are stirring that the bottom is already so it's on two, we leave it on two. Okay. Okay, so, yeah, so if we use pepper, yellow pepper, mm -hmm. usually we use the medium size, not too big, the nice medium size, and you can put three, four uh, uh, stuffed pepper, and then our leftover are the bean bars. You can put all stuffed pepper, mm -hmm. but I just like to put two, three, and then I like to make the meat bars. How do you how do you cut the peppers? And you cut that bottom and take out the seed area mm. and just Oh as you boil the whole thing whole almost? The huh? pepper? You boil the whole pepper whole almost. You don't slice in, it up in, in other that, words. No, yeah. And then sometimes when cooking is is coming up Comes apart. or something but uh, okay. it's okay. Okay, so now we have uh, mm. seven hundred fifty four mm. grams, which is about one and a half pound. Yeah. Uh, ground beef. We put half cup rice, white rice, mm -hmm. half cup, mm -hmm. in the then one egg, this one we hold it all together, mm. one egg, and I crushed three cloves garlic, mm -hmm. okay, and Pepper, you use nice pepper, lots of pepper I don't really use to measure, but we will today. Okay, then let's I will use paprika. a teaspoon, paprika, yeah, and see, nice heaping about one, and I can use two, two teaspoon paprika, two teaspoon paprika, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then uh -huh, mm -hmm, it doesn't mm -hmm. go in. Okay, that's a quarter spoon and a nice, nice heaping quarter, quarter, uh, one quarter teaspoon uh, ground that, pepper. Okay. And a nice heaping teaspoon again, salt, kind mm -hmm. of like this. That's a quarter teaspoon? Quarter. And I guess I will use another quarter. <laughs> So a half teaspoon. A of half teaspoon. Pepper. pepper. Ground pepper. And for the salt, I really don't know. We never used to. Well, we don't need too much salt anymore. Anyway. Don't do it too salty. So that's what. Okay, what we do now? Wash my hand. <laughs> Let's wash mom. Wash your hand. <laughs> so, oh yeah. And what we do is. Oh wow, play with the Play-Doh! Mm. Like mm -hmm. And you have to stir, mix very well all the ingredients together. And when this all finished, then you make small meatballs. Not too small, like uh, 
let me see. Like, uh, maybe like a fistful or something? Like a small, uh, small egg, maybe. We will mm. see. Because then it's nicely cooked through. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like to do that. Nice and small. Mm-hmm. That's funny how you add the rice into it. Uh, yeah, you add the rice into it because uh, it will give nice texture. Otherwise, the meat is just meat and I don't know rice and little rice. I mean, rice gives nice, mm -hmm. nice flavor, nice texture to mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Meat. Okay. Now it's all mixed up, so we can put it into the tomato sauce. Okay. So we'll pause this then. Mm -hmm. So this one is nice slowly was uh, boiling, simmering, away. boiling. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can see it start I just stirred up because when I took up the the cover. lid mm -hmm. see it's nice so we can put it on two we don't have to yes it's kind of bubbling up a little bit there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you can see it's nice okay so yeah I can see the bubbles coming what in. we do take out some little meat and about this size, see? This size. Mm, let's see, it's your hand? Okay. Alright, that is to my eye the size of just bigger than a golf ball, I would say. It's like a golf ball. Yeah. It's maybe a bit smaller, I don't know. Okay. And just drop it in to the sauce. I see, you just drop it right into the sauce and let it yeah. boil. And then when you finish, then you just cover it and let to cook it for a good hour, but and maybe every 10 minutes a little bit with the wooden spoon a little bit stir up gently with mm. your meat will not coming apart but your bottom don't Doesn't burn, burn down don't burn down don't stick down too much huh? mm -hmm. so that's how it is okay perfect i knew and so what's the total cooking time then you think for something like that well i would say for an hour for sure oh and uh, i like to cook it very well sure sure so maybe a little bit longer a maybe. little bit longer so about an hour and you leave it on the, the about two to just to sort of a two, simmer yeah to very slow to simmer oh, so it's a slow and cook uh, mm -hmm. and you cover it up eh? Mm -hmm. and cover up and every 10 minutes about i would make move or get me with the wooden spoon wooden about spoon. to a gentle make so the cover get me, yes. get me yes so it will not bake a lot Burn on the stick on there. Too right, much. right. And all those, all that meat will fit into that sauce. In other words, it'll be completely covered by the sauce. Yeah. Okay. It will because what will happen? Mm -hmm. The sauce uh, will come up higher. Oh, that's the, true. As the meat. As the meat goes in, and I imagine the meat might even shrink a bit to, to make it, it smaller will a as it bit, bakes. Yeah. And then, yeah. And some juice I usually come out from it, so it's oh. a little bit thinner. Again. Oh, I see some of the other nice yes. and thickness. So. Right, right. Oh, fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then we'll like us come back in an hour and take a look at the finished yeah, product. Yeah, you can wait until until we're done. Keep going. Well, you can stop and then we will see how it looks. How it looks like. Yeah, then I will see have, that one is not after for the you will have, yeah after when it's all in with the new spoon again we will. We'll uh, stir them stir around it in, so all oops. into the sauce, kind of. So you wouldn't add extra water or anything at this point? Uh, no. uh, I mean, if you really, really had to, I guess you could, right? If you well, really if couldn't do thick. anything else. If it's too oh, thick, too but thick, if yeah. it's not too thick, you don't, because now we will mix any and it will be covered. It will be covered? Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, we'll let you finish it off. Why not? I'll just keep taping. Look at Annika, I'm no rush. Yeah, I know, but I'm the exact because of then the again, see, I should make mm -hmm. a mash, I could get it bigger and then just that one or two, but... Scooping all those little leftover goodies there. Small. Oh, there's my hand. Hey, look at me, I'm on camera, I'm famous. Okay, I have to wash my hand. Okay. 
Now the meatball are in there, so what we have to do is very gentle move them around so they will all go into the juice. <laughs> see, because when I am putting, I don't see where is the meatball, where is the no, meatball. No, no, no. Just try to figure out. Well, if you put it in uh, following a certain pattern, like you know, you do it a big circle, then yeah, do an inner circle, in then the you could kind of. Kind of, yeah. Make sure you don't yeah. stack them on top of each okay, other. Okay, so it's about good. Mm -hmm. And maybe we can put it on three and wait a little bit until it starts to cook a little bit better. Oh, I see, because it kind of cooled down with the cold meat added to it. Mm -hmm. so you can't really stir it now until it's too raw, but in about another... 20 minutes while it's cooked enough then easily. Oh, the outside would uh, cook a little and you can hold it together? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, what I will do is mm -hmm. I will put back on to two mm -hmm. oh, okay. and cover and just it will start to nicely. It will start to heat cook. up on its own. Okay, good. And then for an hour about cook. For an hour and every about 10 minutes you And stir about every 10 minutes gentle make to new because of... Wonderful. Well, then. thanks for that one on you. <laughs> Okay, bye for now. Uh, okay, so looks like the food is ready. Mm, uh, yummy. See, Ooh, yeah. it was cooking nice and slow like this. And we did it more than an hour, and yeah. On two, uh, four. did it about an hour and 15 minutes, maybe. Okay. Okay, so it's all finished. And now I remember because we didn't do this, didn't make it for a long time, but mm -hmm. now I remember that. Uh, the sugar usually we used to put into the plate when we are eating. Mm. So, because otherwise uh, it burns down and uh, elastic, uh, you always have to yeah. stir it because it's not good always open or got me. Because I noticed yeah, it is sticking It's very sticking it down. Used, uh, used to okay. yeah. So, because the order is nice and sweet anyways with the soup, some people mm -hmm. like that way, like under your father used to like that way. Mm -hmm. And we used to put sugar, so now I remember. You can put sugar when you are eating. Okay? When you are eating rather, yes. So, now we just we turn it off, mm -hmm. and we can cover it, and about in 10 minutes, the set us nicely, we can eat it. Wonderful! Good Thanks appetite. for that! Yes, uh -huh. perfect! Bye-bye! Yeah, and I put oh. a few... Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I put a few slices of red pepper in oh, we did. for That's the right. pepper taste. Perfect. Because we didn't have the green one or yellow one. Yes. So it will be good. Okay, mm -hmm. wonderful. Thank okay, you. thanks again, Anu.